This is the 2019 Subaru Ascent, an all-new sport utility vehicle and the largest Subaru has ever built. The Ascent, which replaces the Subaru Tribeca that ended production three years ago, will be manufactured at Subaru's plant in Lafayette, Indiana, and arrive on dealers' lots early next summer. Subaru is known for its smaller Outback and Forester SUVs but now it wants to challenge Toyota, Honda and others in the market for larger, mid-size crossover SUVs. The Ascent features three rows of seating, for up to eight passengers, on a 113.8-inch wheelbase. The company says it's designed for active families on the go and it effectively fills in a gap in Subaru's product line left open by the Tribeca's demise. The all-wheel drive Ascent is powered by an all-new 2.4-liter, 260-horsepower turbocharged engine, and the SUV's powertrain enables a towing capacity as much as 5,000 pounds, the most of any Subaru vehicle. The interior features Subaru's Starlink multimedia system, with a high-resolution touchscreen display and available in-car Wi-Fi, along with eight USB charging ports throughout the cabin. There are four trim levels ranging from the base model to the top-of-the-line touring model with chrome door handles, leather seats and panoramic moonroof. Standard safety features include driver assist technology such as automatic pre-collision braking, lane departure and sway warnings, pre-collision throttle management and a new eyesight assist monitor that provides a display of system warnings and other data on the windshield. The Ascent will compete with several other mid-size SUVs, including the Toyota Highlander, Honda Pilot and Ford Explorer. Subaru said it will not announce Ascent prices until next year, but that it will be competitively priced with its rivals, whose costs range from $30,000 to $40,000 depending on the trim. The Ascent makes a bold visual statement that includes a massive grille that's reminiscent of the Volkswagen Atlas, car and driver said, adding that while the Atlas Aero straight character lines emphasize the vehicle's boxness, the Ascent wears more flowing lines that imbue it with somewhat more grace. Subaru has unveiled its largest vehicle ever at the Los Angeles Auto Show. The Ascent is a family-sized SUV that stretches the Subaru Global Platform to its limits to create enough space for three rows of seating. Retaining much of the look of the Ascent concept that debuted at the New York Auto Show in April, the production Ascent comes with an all-new engine and Subaru's tried-and-true symmetrical all-wheel drive. Subaru can be overlooked because of its relatively small lineup of models and its general lack of hype. Its cars have long appealed to a core group of buyers, but the company looks to be targeting a wider audience as it continues to expand its lineup. Given the popularity of full-sized crossover SUVs, the Ascent seems a safe move. For Subaru, the Ascent is a clear move to fill a gap they've often lost repeat customers to. Once a family outgrows the Outback or Forester, they have no other Subaru to turn to and must look elsewhere to get that third row of seating. With the Subaru Ascent, the company hopes to keep those buyers inside a car with the Star Cluster logo on the hood. Just having the badge won't do it, though. The Ascent has to be capable of competing with its market, and what is on show at the LA show suggests it will. For its biggest ever vehicle, Subaru created an all-new 2.4-liter engine in its usual boxer opposed piston configuration, but with higher compression than normal and its twin-scroll turbocharger with an intercooler. This generates 260 horsepower and a broad torque curve peaking at 277 pounds FT. That power runs through a redesigned continuously variable transmission made to handle the torque output and potential towing requirements of the Ascend. The engine, if it sounds familiar, has several technologies in common with the turbocharged and intercooled engine used in the WRX and STI models. The active torque vectoring of the all-wheel drive system comes directly from them, in fact. The 8.7-inch clearance height is very close to what's found on the Outback and the low step-in and wide swinging rear doors are almost identical in design to the Forester. 
So it's safe to say that Subaru didn't stray too far from familiar pastures for this new crossover. The Subaru Ascent has a 113.8-inch wheelbase and 153.5 cubic feet of passenger volume. That's roughly on par with the segment averages for mid-sized three-rowers. Three-zone climate control is standard, as are eight USB ports and 19 Cuban pesos holders. Also debuting inside the Ascent is Subaru's latest infotainment and Starlink multimedia system. A 6.5-inch screen is standard and an 8-inch display is available at higher trim levels. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard, as are several app options and Bluetooth connectivity. New is a high-speed LTE Wi-Fi option for in-car connectivity throughout the passenger cabin. Subaru's popular safety systems that run through the eyesight cameras are standard in the Ascend. This includes active pre-collision braking, adaptive cruise control, lane departure, and so forth. Blind spot detection and rear cross-traffic alert are options, as is reverse automatic braking. The Subaru Ascent will be offered with a choice of 7 or 8 passenger configuration and come in 4 trim levels, starting with the base and moving to the premium, limited, and the touring. Each add more interior accoutrements and technological touches, such as a front view monitor that displays the view from a front grille mounted camera, steering responsive headlights, and rain sensing windshield wiper system coming standard on the top level touring trim. The Ascent will be made in Subaru's Indiana plant and will enter the market as a 2019 model year vehicle. No exact ETA or expected price ranges have been announced, nor have estimated fuel economy numbers. Subaru says these will be forthcoming as the vehicle nears launch. Nissan is determined to ride the crossover popularity wave like the world's most determined surfer. The Japanese automaker already has two small crossovers in the form of the Rogue and Rogue Sport, but now it's adding a third, even smaller model as a de facto replacement for the polarizing Juke. The 2018 Nissan Kicks will likely be more practical than the model it replaces, but also less distinctive. It's a far more conventional design shape by Nissan Design Studios in San Diego and Rio de Janeiro, and based on a concept car from the 2014 Sao Paulo Motor Show. It's already on sale in Brazil, but the US spec 2018 Kicks was just unveiled at the 2017 Los Angeles Auto Show, and goes on sale here next year. The Kicks is the first new Nissan nameplate launched in eight years but, aside from the cute name the latest Nissan doesn't exactly break much new ground. The styling is fairly generic, although the bulging fenders and blacked out roof do help a bit. And while the Kicks does offer the tall driving position drivers crave, it's missing one key ingredient of a true crossover. Nissan won't offer all-wheel drive on the Kicks. The automaker says the Kicks was designed primarily for youthful urbanites, so presumably it thought people who spent most of their time driving on city streets could make do with front-wheel drive. Nissan isn't alone in this, the rival Toyota CHR doesn't is also available only with front-wheel drive. The upside of abandoning all-wheel drive is improved fuel economy. Nissan expects the Kicks to achieve 33 mpg combined. The sole powertrain option is a 1.6-liter, four-cylinder engine, which produces 125 horsepower and 115 pound-feet of torque, and is mated to a continuously variable transmission. The infotainment system includes a 7.0-inch touchscreen and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility. The senior premium package model also gets a Bose Personal Plus audio system that has just 8 speakers but is designed to replicate the sound quality of more elaborate systems. Nissan's Around View Monitor 360-degree camera system is available as well. The 2018 Nissan Kicks goes on sale in the United States in June 2018. Pricing will be announced ahead of the launch. Having hit a home run with this Rogue and Rogue Sport small SUVs, which are currently the second best-selling non-truck vehicle in the country after the Toyota RAV4, Nissan has set its sights on the compact crossover market. Look out, Kia!
The 2018 Kicks is a flyweight CUV designed for the budget buyer eager to get into the crossover market, a young single or a starting out couple requiring low MSRP, high MPG and a certain amount of utility. Nissan's answer, already market tested for the last year in Brazil and Mexico, is a sporty small SUV that offers all those things, with specifications that should compete smartly with the competition. Nissan saw an opportunity to bring more technology and higher performance to a market of first-time buyers that, said Vice President of Product Planning Michael Butts, hasn't had access to crossovers in the past. Bum said Nissan sees the Kicks as a gateway vehicle that will convert that young buyer into a future customer for the company's larger Rogue, Pathfinder, Murano or Armada. It's also an opportunity for the Japanese car company, which has traditionally trailed Toyota and Honda in North American sales, to bring a new car to market without a massive capital outlay. Nissan has been building Kicks cars in Mexico for the Mexican market, using an engine already at work in other models, and will bump up production at that facility to serve the US and Canada. The four-door, five-passenger hatchback is the company's first new model in eight years, but sports a look that will be familiar to fans of the family. The Kicks carries over Nissan's boomerang headlights. V-Motion grille in the floating roof familiar to the Rogue, Pathfinder and Murano SUVs. These are joined on the kicks by a higher waistline and arched fenders. But the vehicle's most dramatic feature may be its price, Nissan said it will kick off the kicks below $19,000, which Bunch said dealers had told him would constitute a game-changer. The entry-level CUV segment isn't as competitive as the niches above it, but Kicks will have to fight for customers with the popular Kia Soul, Honda CR-V, Chevy Trax and Ford's just-arriving EcoSport. But Bunce boasted that Kicks knocks out the competition with class-leading cargo space, price point and fuel economy, which has unofficial non-EPA ratings of 36 miles per gallon on the highway and 33 miles per gallon for combined city and highway use. The kicks will be driven by the same 1.6-liter, four-cylinder engine Nissan uses in its Versa sedans, but with a little more power, mated to its Stronic automatic transmission. The vehicle will be sold in three trim lines, rising from Kicks S to Kicks SV to Kicks Senior. The stripped bare base model will come standard with safety features like automatic emergency braking and convenience features like a roof rail. The SV and SR models will include substantially more, from Apple CarPlay and Android Auto to remote engine start to blind spot and rear cross traffic warnings. Nissan said the kicks will be in dealers in June 2018.